My hair grew so fast and like every three months they will look like puffs of hair balls. <laughs> and because we got three of them, haircut is out of the budget now that everything goes way so high. My husband and I decided to cut their hair, including his, to save some money. I personally trim my hair. This is my first time to cut a boy or a man's hair. I am not a pro. Learned basic haircut from university. Yeah. Raven is my first client of the day that time. So I'm trying to snip and snap here and there. I'm trying to blend everything because I razored his uh, back, the back of his hair, and then all the way through the sides. And then I'm blending the hair going up with the use of the scissors. The same with his side bands. I used also razor, but I wasn't able to take a video of that. And so I'm blending it now. It's hard for me to do Raven's hair because like it's very thick. Like when I clean the floor after he's done, I need to like vacuum the house like twice just to make sure that the dogs will not get the hair and play with them or eat them. to blend everything in because I already trimmed the top of the hair so I'm blending the side and the top together now and I'm using the scissors I think I'm better with scissors because with razors I'm still kind of learning how to use it so Raven is um, taking a video here um, doing his hair so the next client is Lance waiting patiently yeah i did also razor his hair prior to cutting the sides and the fire track wow amazing and then i'm making it a little wet so it's easier for me to get the hair and then to see the, some, the shortest um, hair and then cut the hair that I grabbed to smooth it out or cut them straight or I don't know how they call it in their language in the salon but yeah that's what I'm doing that's my guide to cut the hair and then when you grab the hair make sure that your fingers are like there's a gap with your finger going to the head and then the shortest hair will be your guide all the way so when you release the hair from your fingers it looks like it's blended well it doesn't look like that. it's like there's like zigzags or like some bumpy lumps of hair so that's how it will look even i also did uh lance hair like I put a line on the side of, on his um, right side using the razor. Uh, you can see it later in the video. And then I think on my second client, it's easier for me to trim his hair or cut his hair rather because his hair is straight, even though it's thick. Unlike Raven, it's thick and it's kind of curly. The strands are also thick. And when you comb his hair, it's like curling more compared to Lance. Now you can see I'm blending the top and then his bangs. Going to the side. As much as possible, I want it to be like shorter. The shortest um, cut that I can do. So I will be cutting their hair after like two months, not a month or a week after. Actually, I've been wanting to do the haircut ever since the 
uh, ever since after COVID because it's really hard to reach our personal um, hairstylist. She is a Filipino. But after we moved, she also moved to a freezer place. So it's hard to book um, an appointment with her to do home service because she does home service with us. And I am more comfortable with her doing my our voice hair because when we did their haircut before at the salon or the barber shop we are not satisfied with what we saw it looks like um i cut the hair like what i did with troy it's like a bao that you put on the hair and use it as your guide to trim the hair that's why my kids because they want me to do their hair too because of what they saw before with what I did with Troy but Troy was still like he just turned a year old then and then he was still playful and he wasn't crying while me and my husband are doing his haircut yeah we did razor Troy's hair before he was uh, semi yeah bald all the way and then when it grew a little bit um, his hair, his bangs goes to his um, eyes, so we have to trim it, but yeah, it looks like a bow, as what I call it. And then the boys were laughing. They don't want me to do their hair ever since, but I did my husband's hair before, and I think it's okay, and then they saw it, then they said they will let me do their hair, and from this time after seeing what the result of the hair cut that I did with him. <laughs> my brain is loading. Oh my goodness. They said, um, mommy can do the haircut now. Imagine for my husband and my our three boys, it will cost us a hundred and twenty dollars every month if they do their haircut every month. But Sometimes we do it every three months because it's really expensive. So 120 times four. That's a estimate of 500. Do the math. Fire truck, amazing! Wow. Right. So we are saving a lot of money. If I will be doing their ha haircut, so starting from this day on, I will be doing their hair. And I am happy with the result and you will see the result later on on this video I wasn't able to take a video of Tyler and my husband I also did their hair I was to do um, Troy's hair as well but he's not in the mood so I don't want to push it because I don't want him to look like a bow again but <laughs> I think hairstyle bow, bow hairstyle is the national hairstyle of the Filipino kids <laughs> who doesn't have that kind of hairstyle before. I did have that one. Yeah. So please continue watching the video. Enjoy. Here are our final results. Enjoy watching. Thank you for watching our videos! Like, share, and comment. Hit the subscribe button for more updates. Bye! Thank you! Leave a comment below! Like and share! Subscribe! <laughs> God bless, bless everyone! Love the Condis family! Bye-bye!